Hi, welcome to the DL Academy. Today I'm going to tell you about the structural rebar tags. Rebar tags are the most important elements in the structural drawing. Because they show the complete description of the reinforcement bars. If the present of errors or the incomplete or inadequacy of the rebar tags may adversely affect the structural detailing as well as the safety of the structure and many disputes may arise with the parties. Therefore, you should pay your best attention and should follow the standards when using of the rebar tags. According to the your standard, the rebar tags may have some unique features. This is the standard format of the rebar tag we are following. Here, the first figure, 45 says, 45 number of bars within the specified section. Next figure says, the type or grade of the steel. Here capital T is for deform type 2, if you are using deform type 1 then that shall be capital Y. This adjacent number to capital T says the diameter of the reinforcement bar and here it is 12 mm. Next we define the center to center spacing between two bars. Here, the spacing is at 6 inches. And the number 15 says the unique number for a specific reinforcement bar. The same number of rebar is identical to each other. Optionally you can provide placement for the reinforcement bars. Here the B2 says the specific reinforcement is laid on the second layer from the bottom. So, first of all let we see how to add the rebar tags for the rivet model. Here, I have built a simple rectangular concrete column in between level 1 and 2, and I have added some reinforcements to show you how can we place the rebar tags. If you want to know how to build a concrete element with a reinforcement in rivet, please visit and subscribe to our channel. Tagging rebar is very simple in Revit and we can just simply place a rebar tag with tag by category icon, in the title bar or otherwise you may find it is under the annotate tab. So just simply click the icon and, when I move the mouse pointer, it denotes the tags according to their category and their settings as attached with a leader. However when I move the pointer onto the rebar, Revit automatically display the rebar tags. So just before placing it I can adjust the settings as horizontal tag with the leader and I change the end from attached to free. Then I click on the desired rebar and place my tag as I want. I repeat the procedure for the other reinforcement bars too. I can edit or move these rebar tags at later. Therefore I don't want to concern more about the tag description and their format or their positions. However you should consider that you are selecting the correct reinforcement bar. Since when I move the mouse pointer on a particular reinforcement bar it is highlighting by dark blue color and show their tag description too. Therefore chances to selecting a wrong reinforcement bar is very limited. Now, I have placed all the rebar tags. However, the details with some of these tags are limited and they are not according to our required standard. Just I want to show you that the tag for shear link is without the center to center spacing between the links. However I have made these shear links with the maximum spacing of 4 inches. So let's see how we can specify the reinforcement bar spacing in the tag. Here when I click on the tag, in the properties window I can see several types of rebar tags. The default rivet rebar tag has 5 numbers of rebar tag types. So let we check one by one. The last one is type, spacing and the number. So I select it, and now the rebar tag consists with bar spacing in addition to the rebar type and bar mark number. Here you can see that I can change the rebar tag as I want and they have several types of parameters. This type is the full description and also if I want I can place it with two lines. Since this is specific detail I can just place my rebar tag as a full description. Therefore I select the third option from the list. Well I'm going to use this tag as number of bars, type of bar, spacing and the bar mark without these dashes and according to our standard as I said at the beginning. And I'm going to tag the main reinforcement bars with the individual tag. As I said this is a specific concrete column, I'm using different types of reinforcement bars at corners. So. Let we see how can I modify this rebar tag in the rivet family. So I just select the tag and then go to the edit family by clicking here. Then rebar tag family window may open. In this family you can see our 5 types of tags.
here one, two, three, four, and five. So let we see one by one. I just select the longest one. Here also you can see the parameters. Quantity, bar type, bar spacing, and the bar mark as rebar number. Then I go to edit this label. You can find this button at here too. So I click on the edit label button. Then edit label window may open. Most of the automatic tags in the rivet are generated as a label. So you can edit those all tags according to the procedure which I'm going to explain now. So please follow this carefully. You may see the parameters which are in the rebar tag. So now I can edit the tag according to our standard. For the quantity I just want the quantity. And next the bar type with a single character space. Here I don't want this dash as a prefix. So I remove it. And for the bar spacing I need the add symbol as a prefix. Here also I have to maintain a single character space after bar type. According to the standard, prefix dash before the bar mark is required and therefore I leave it. Then I apply these changes. Here you can see the preview of the tag and it's now according to the R standard. Then let we edit the other tags too. So here, I select the next tag and go to edit label. This is a three parameter tag and I edit it accordingly and apply the changes. Similarly I can edit the other tag types. Here, remove the prefix dash before the bar type. In the next tag, I don't want to do any changes as it consists only the bar type and bar mark. This is the two line tag. Here you can see that after the bar type, it has put a tick on the line break. This is how it show in two lines. So I leave it and edit the other parameters as necessary. Just maintain a single character space after quantity, and add a prefix at symbol before the bar spacing. OK. After the selecting and saving let we load this family into the project. The message will says that the family is already exists and, here I want to override the existing parameters and values. So I just apply it and now you can see the tags. Yes. Now it's according to the required standard as I said at the beginning. And my main bar tags were already as the standard and therefore no any changes on them. However. When your detailing is not much complicating, some are prefer the rebar tags without this bar mark. So let we see how can we remove it. I click on one of my tag and go to edit family again. Then select the one of tag and go to edit label. Here the last parameter is representing the bar mark. So I just select the whole line and remove it back. Similarly I can remove the bar mark from the other tags. Then I just load the family into the project and let we check the rebar tags. Yes. Now the detailing looks more simple. Ok. Hope you enjoy the video. Please visit and subscribe our DL Academy channel to learn more about the rivet structural detailing. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.